I call the Dixon County Commission to order the October 20th, 2016 meeting. Please stand for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For our agenda today, we want to add a five minutes executive session with our counsel, Doug Thompson, for attorney client privilege. And also, one of the items on our agenda was uh, bids for a, a uh, grapple fork, and uh, we plan to table that to get more information on the specs on that. So, I move we approve the agenda with those corrections. Second. Been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. Uh, aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Consent agenda of the minutes of the October 13th work session and regular meeting. Payroll of $341,804.43. Fund expenditures of $251,229.18. Credit card wire payments of $25,000. $351.95, utilities wire payments of $9,788.83, and CAPERS wire payment of $37,915.58. I'd move that we accept the consent agenda. Second. Is there any discussion on the consent agenda? Not all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Commissioners' comments and committee reports. Lynn, do you want to start? Well, I'll just mention uh, this past week I had a Central Kansas Mental Health Board meeting over at Salina on Monday. And um, one of the things on that, um, you know, previously Sheila Biggs uh, said that she was going to go ahead and resign the uh, first of the year. And, um, and she's served on there a long, long time. But Dixon County has one other person that they can appoint. And um, kind of the discussion over there, what they were hoping is that perhaps we could put that on our agenda in the next week or two. Uh, we have a candidate for consideration. Um, but they would like to see the process go into effect just from the standpoint that if that person you know, is able to attend some of the board meetings, they could kind of get an idea of what's on the agenda, um, and it just, you know, might make it just a smoother transition. And, and Sheila does plan to to attend, you know, the, the meetings um, that we have in the next couple of months. But, um, but anyway, that was one item, and the other part will be on the um, Kansas Association of Counties, we're having a conference call on Friday just to go over some legislative issues and just kind of from a budgetary type thing, it seemed like it was easier to do with a conference call rather than have all of us travel into Topeka um, and pay the mileage and the time involved in travel. So that's going to occur uh, tomorrow morning. That's all I have. Okay. Greg? Uh, yeah, Brad and I attended a Justice Center presentation at the Monday evening at uh, Over Solomon. There was nine uh, members present. Uh, thought it went well. I also attended the utility meeting with the people that are interested. I'm not interested. The utilities that would be affected by the new building. Uh, it was about probably 12, 12, 14 people present at that meeting. Uh, went well. Uh, West Star and AT and T didn't show up, and West Star had been contacted earlier. So, if there's any unforeseen things that'll be happening, uh, the Elhurstburg, uh, the entrances that were coming off, the the way it's laid out now, there'll be two two entrances coming into the existing parking lot. So that he's happy with that. The other deal was the sidewalk. 
trying to move it and come across from the existing parking lot we've got across the street. So uh, that's all I have. Okay. Um, I I uh, attended the the uh, Lions Club meeting uh, with Gareth and also was presenting uh, the Justice Center proposal to them and had a big turnout over there. And, and like I say, I, I thought uh, we had uh, a good crowd there that that uh, for our presentation. Also, yesterday I uh, had my juvenile detention board meeting down in Junction City, and I had mentioned previously that we had had gotten written up on some violations that they thought that we had had. Well, anyway, now. Uh, there's been a change <coughs> at the Department of Child and Family. Uh, they, Denise Stevens, uh, is now the director of the Foster Care and, and Residential Facility License Division, and uh, they've met with her, and she seems to be very cooperative in working with us over there. So it's kind of a breath of fresh air that we actually had somebody that wanted to work with us, and and so. They had already worked out some of the, she's already dismissed, dismissed some of the violations that, that, and also she said that she was more than willing to work with us to, to get that resolved. So hopefully that will go smoother now. Uh, let's see. Chancey was in and gave his report. Uh, on emergency management, and uh, I guess that was about all. Presentations of petitions, proclamation, and other public comment. We have none today, so Brad, you can start with uh, your update. Okay. Uh, just to reiterate, to uh, let you know that the uh, chance we were kind of informed you this morning, but uh, due to some health concerns, uh, with the emergency manager in Clay County. Uh, Chancey has agreed to help Clay County and cover any uh, situations they have up there that may uh, need an emergency management response. Haven't had anything so far, I don't anticipate anything, but you never know. But uh, with their emergency manager being down with some health concerns, why uh, they were concerned that they had, that if something happened, they needed somebody to respond, they'd have that expertise, and I assured them that we were available to help them if, if uh, the need arose. So. Just to let you know that we'll be helping them out if something happens. Uh, got an invitation from the, uh, which you guys may have gotten from 4-H for the achievement banquet, and just need to check and see if you wanted wanted us to make reservations for you. Okay. okay. Yeah, Jeanette and I both. Okay. Over on to you. Mm -hmm. What day was that? I had the November twenty second. The Tuesday that? evening. Which is the Tuesday? Yeah invitation at home. Um, yes, I, I will attend just okay. myself. We'll make reservations for you. So. And then uh, we talked a little bit in the uh, work session about the uh, speed limit request on Union Road. Uh, I will get back with Liberty Township and discuss that with them a little bit more. It would be our recommendation from, from uh, John Goff and Martin and I that we not do that, but uh, we'll We'll discuss it with them some more and see if we can work that out before we bring it back to you. We've had a busy week working on the uh, EWP project for the, the storm cleanup. Uh, very productive week. We've got the 95 percent of the easement agreements back. We're waiting on a couple more that are out of state, but everyone has been extremely cooperative and, and appreciative of the fact that we applied for that and we've got that going. We also put together our plan of operations and the numbers that we will uh, we're applying to NRCS to use as our cleanup for a 25% match. So hopefully we'll know something in the next few days as to whether that's been approved or not. So the last thing that I had was just to uh, talk a little bit about the community advisory committee that we intend to put together for the justice project. Uh, obviously that group of, of individuals, the intent behind that would be to get a, an unbiased opinion on the project and the needs uh, at the completion of the needs assessment. 
and then hopefully you utilize uh, those uh, people in the community to uh, go out and help us sell uh, sell the needs to the, the public. So uh, the big question is how do we go about soliciting people that would want to serve on that and, and put their time in. Uh, my suggestion would be to get the, our, our stakeholder group together again, update them on the project of where we're at at this point, uh, even though most of them may probably know, but use their knowledge and expertise to try and and, and probably the department is to use their knowledge and expertise to try and uh, select some people, if you will, come up with some names and see if we can. How big a committee? Have, uh, I mean, that my opinion is. You yeah, know, the size. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I don't think we're going to have any problem getting too many people. Well, probably, but yeah. Uh, so. Well, I'm sure. <laughs> I mean, it'll be given thought to get some balance as far as spread out throughout yeah. the county, and then you know maybe try to identify. I mean, there's people that are, you know, active as far as leadership roles that, you know, wouldn't mind being the face of a project to mm -hmm. help us with it. So I'll try. I'll schedule a meeting with the group and here in a couple of weeks. Right, after we get the stakeholders to find out exactly what what the Focus will be of the stakeholder group. So you want to raise back and yeah. participate right. in that with us. And I think if we get you know representative from maybe the financial community and somebody from the health community, different different respects and disciplines throughout our, our county, well, that or, would help. You know, police chief from one of the other, you know, Farrington, Chapman, or you know, you know, smaller mm -hmm. communities would be good. So I think if they're available. Work on that, so that's all I've got today. Okay. Doug, did you have anything to report today? No, nothing. No okay. Okay, we move on to notices and communications. Uh, Barb had given us the final figures on uh, the. Uh, Evaluation and also how that affects the, the mill levy for next year, and uh, we have somewhat good news there that uh, the valuation from July to November uh, had increased uh, five hundred and sixty-nine thousand and forty dollars. So that made our mill levy come down then uh, from what we had projected from 53.811 to 53.658 so it's, it's always good news to so actually uh, our mill levy uh, increase was a couple tenths less almost than what our projection was earlier so we're we're, we had projected a one mil increase, so it, it will be less than one mil now. Uh, this is another meeting that uh, we've been having kind of quarterly uh, with surrounding counties, county commissioners that we've been meeting together. And uh, this time uh, McPherson County is going to host it on November the 1st and at 6 p.m. and we'll be serving a meal so we pump they need to RSP by October 27th so as far as I know I could attend that meeting on November 1st I'll be attending I plan to attend okay so you, I'll just give you this. So I, you got okay. We'll miss the KU opening basketball game, uh, though. Just so you know. Okay. That's okay right we can listen to it on the radio. We got the camera. Here, put your earbuds in. Where they going? You need to put that on the radio. I mean, I get it in my first county. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's with Washburn, so it's kind of a warm up. Yeah. Well, it can get beat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it would be bad here. We got the uh, 
the National uh, County News and uh, K Works their newsletter. Here's another invitation we got for our our uh, meeting down at uh, Kansas City the, uh, from uh, Strobel Cook Flat and Strobel uh, they put on a, a dinner and have invited its commissioners and that's on the Tuesday night of, of our convention down there so I've been going to it so I probably we need to send the reservations back probably. I think I'll plan to attend. Yeah. So and they just invite a lot of the commissioners and, and county officials to uh, I won't be attending, Barb. Just a short drive. <laughs> hey, I'm coming down just for the clever. <laughs> I guess I could. Well, did, did you get loaded? I guess we yeah. I guess we can send these <laughs> in. Okay. Send these in separate or? Okay. Okay, I'll just do that. They don't put too much pressure on us. <laughs> Get a meal and a pan out of it, a little calendar. But, uh, I think I got two pans last year, so I'm good. <laughs> oh. uh, here's another. <laughs> We've got a lot of things to attend here. Uh, the conservation district, uh, in the past, they uh, the award winners. Uh, They've been taking a tour and actually going to these places, but this year they decided to have the meeting uh, at the USDA Service Center in the conference room on Monday, November the 14th, and they're going to probably <coughs> go over those applications at that time, and they've invited commissioners to attend, so. Um, what time is that? It's either 10 or 11. Yeah, we'll the, be doing the presentation. You've got the canvas at 9 o'clock on that day from Okay, the so, so I'll just stay in town then. At 9 o'clock, we'll do yeah. the canvas. So Unless you want to or... change the canvas to 8. No. Yeah, no, eight. But, no, we got plenty of time, I think. No, we didn't last year. How long remember? Do you, well, no, we didn't, well, didn't. It, <laughs> it depends on how many provisional ballots there are. You're you about know. All yeah. So about 11:30 when we got that, out. That was. Yeah, it was a long one. That so was a long one. That. I mean, it, there might be a lot of provisional ballots to consider, so. We know, might be better off coming in at eight. And I can I can make note of that. And but it's whatever. Yeah. You guys, well, probably so. Okay. I mean, we have it at eight. Okay. Canvas at eight a.m. on the fourteenth, and then this meeting is what. This time? is this starts at eleven. Oh, okay. Well, if you well, want to the regular meeting, their board meeting starts at ten, but the presentations will start at eleven. And then they, they also will be serving a lunch at 12. Well, you'll definitely so we maybe can lunch. make the lunch. Yeah, you'll probably make the lunch for sure. <laughs> All right. It says they wanted us to RSVP that also, so um, I guess were you in on for lunch too with them? Or? I, yes, I will be. I, I have a meeting board meeting um, in Kansas City that evening, but okay. I'll just wait till after the lunch to leave. I'll be there. So okay. Be there. So you could... Oh, RSVP, if you want to make a notice that you're yeah. going to be attending. And that's... Uh, I can email Cindy. Okay. That was November 14th. 14th, is what they said. At, at 11 o'clock. I see that just yeah. so Okay. This was letter was from the, the Kansas Historical Society, and we've got two people in Dixon County that 
are uh, applying to get uh, on the National Register of Historic Places. Uh, the, the first one is uh, Ted Pugh. Uh, this was, the location is uh, Hoffman Buildings over uh, at 104 South Fac Factory Street in Enterprise. And the other one is from Scott and Chris Osterman. And this is what they call the Engel House. Uh, and that's at 102 Highland Drive in, in Abilene. So those, once they get on the historical list, sometimes there's some grant monies that they can apply for and help them restore those facilities. Introduction and consideration of resolutions. We have none today. The are unfinished business. Uh, we go on to other business, and we've got to uh, open bids uh, for the new ambulance. So I'll let take over for that. We received two uh, two packets from two vendors. We will open those up. They came in by the deadline at 10 o'clock this morning. John has them both, I'll just let him kind of cover them today. We'll just touch on the fact that we received them and, and they're getting the next week to go through and make sure that the specs are all met before we actually entertain a decision next week. So. Okay, I think you guys did have the opportunity to look through the specs about a month ago and yeah. we did uh, post them then after that and, and uh, accepted bids up until uh, this morning at 10 o'clock. Did have four companies that, that had throughout the last month that it sent questions and expressed interest in, in uh, bidding on it. And it looks like we had two of those companies uh, actually submit. Uh, the first bid is from Professional Ambulance in uh, Comanche, Texas. They submitted a bid for a Horton uh, Ambulance, which is uh, the, actually the company and, and uh, distributor that we, we bought our last two trucks from. Uh, the specs were written off of our last truck that we bought, uh, Freightliner. Uh, so their bid was received. There it is. For a 2017 Freightliner, uh, same style and as, as we currently bought with our last truck, and their bid for that was 251934 with approximately delivery date of 220 to 250 days after receipt of signed order. Thank you. The next is from Osage Ambulance uh, out of... Uh, Missouri. And it is also for a 2017 Freightliner. And their bid is $269,835. And their delivery time is 180 days uh, subject to chassis availability. So. Did you recall what it cost the last time? A year two, back? Uh, two, 30, two, thirty-one, two, thirty-nine. Yeah. Two, I think it was almost two forty, so yeah. two thirty-seven, <laughs> eight, something like that. So, and that was two years ago. We took that bid. So. They seem pretty reasonably consistent. Yeah. For yeah. Other than the cost of new chassis went up, you know, I'm sure that's a mm -hmm. show of the increase in price. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I read through them. You didn't change anything on the specs for the. The body that goes under. No, it's a it's a 
Freightliner just right. I know, but I mean the, the box that goes no, on. No, no. We want to keep them consistent so right. our guys, when they check in trucks, but, they know where well, all the compartments are at. When they, I saw them setting one, and I noticed a couple of boxes are different. And that's because we want different manufacturers. Okay. So the way different manufacturers do it, they set up, they change their body a little bit. And it's nice to not have to do that right. because if we go with a different one. The way they duck their AC in the right. back may be different, so you have to move cabinets to do it. And, and we do have uh, the Horton. We do not have any of these Osage ambulances. I'm familiar with the company, and there's places in Kansas that do. Uh, uh, we don't have, never have had an Osage. Uh, Horton, we have two Horton ambulances, the last two that we have, the International and the Freightliner. Uh, and the other two um, that we bought more recently uh, are Lifeline vehicles out of uh, Iowa. And then we have that little van that we'll be replacing that was a med tech uh, that that company is no longer in business. Uh, so they all. Well, what I was reverent just looking from the outside, the layout of the, you know, I mean, the do one door wasn't up quite as high. Yeah, and, and, and I tell you, the, the Horton, and that's probably the Horton that we got, the last Horton that we got last time, which is what we spec this time, is to have the AC and heat that goes down the side of the box from the front clear to the back so they can get air on people. The other trucks are clear up at the front, so it has to blow all the way to the back. And on a hot day, it does a lot of blowing to try to get back there. Oh, you got the ducking that goes, takes it right back. The duck, it's got side ducking, so... That's worked really well on the truck that we got, the last truck we got, so we did it again. Well, when you do that, it cuts the size of that compartment oh, yeah. down to put that duct heat and then you see along the side. So we've learned to live with that. It's no big deal. Yeah. The positives outweigh the negatives yeah. on that. So, uh, so little things you learn over time, but we try to keep all the compartments consistent. And obviously, if you go with a like manufacturer, that's easier than if you switch because well, you think it's a little different. Crews that are used to having something, hey, it's here. Exactly, it's there. It's yeah. the same in yeah. every truck. Yeah. The cabinet looks the same, and mm -hmm. you know they have to. We have to put a little right. sign on the inside, so when they call in on the radio, they know which truck they're right. in because they all, you know, yeah. it looks similar. Everything looks similar. So, uh, so again, I will look through these and and be back next week uh, with. Uh, Anything to stand that obviously the Horton will be pretty close to the specs we wrote since we wrote them off based upon the Horton yeah. truck we bought last time. Uh, I'm sure <coughs> the other truck will have some exceptions to it, so we'll look through those. So, so the Horton was which price was the Horton? It was the lowest one, two fifty one. Two fifty one. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for all your work and, yeah. and have some enjoyable reading. I, I, uh, thank you. I will. Enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I say, it's, uh, sometimes you might see a little bit of differences in. Well, we want to make sure, even though we use their specs, that they didn't change anything on us too. So, right. But uh, yeah. But I'm sure it'll be pretty close. So. Okay. Wow. Well, right. Thanks. Thank you, John. See you next week. Yes. Okay. So did we take care of all the business except the executive session? Mm -hmm. I'd like to, well, Janelle's here. I did ask her this, this morning. Uh, she could track the Justice Center, you know, you know, more of a budget, you know, from what the revenues coming in and, you know, mm -hmm. the, what's being spent stuff. So we get it started now so we can we'll have an idea of what's, you know, pass through and how it's coming in. Not a problem. You have something for us today then no. on that? No. Would you be coming for? Yes, I just wanted to hear the business. Okay. Anything else? I move we go into executive session for five minutes for attorney client privilege. Second. Then yeah. move in second. Any discussion? Uh, it'll be 1130 to 1135. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried.
and talk fast. I don't know. That is. I move the return to regular session. I'll second it. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Okay. Now, is there any other matter before we adjourn? Do we need to give Doug any direction on that, or does he have enough? To... Well, uh, I can respond to the letter one of two ways, with a yes or a no. Well, we'd have to take action and open meeting on what we decide to do. So that, right. yeah. yeah, so I, I would go ahead and make the motion that we direct um, Doug to send a letter that, yes, we would uh, take the steps to expedite the sale of the property at a tax sale. Second it? To the percentage you mentioned. Okay. Still second it. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. Any more discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. I'll make the notification. Thank you. Okay. And do we need to put an address on that for the minutes, or does that really matter? Just say enterprise property, or yeah, enterprise property. <coughs> so direct Doug to send the letter. Yes. It, to, you know, well, it will be a letter to the uh, bankruptcy trustee. To affirm the sale of property. To affirm sale. Not not county property. You want me to put that in the motion? Yeah, not it's not county property. Okay. Well, it's, it doesn't have to be the motion, but just a footnote. No, to regarding it. a delinquent property tax case. I'd move we adjourn. Second. Then move and second. We adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried.